Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Fist 25, Fisting Java, Save the Universe. We're doing another ship review, this time on the starter ship. Starter ships? Maybe just starter ship. But this is on the Consolidated Outland Mustang series. And we're going to start with this guy right behind me in Port Alisar. The super cool Mustang Alpha. And we're going to get started right now. Your journey begins now. All systems operational. All right, everybody, welcome back. And uh, let's take a look at the Mustang Alpha here. This ship is a little beat up, as you can see. Oh, here we go. PO, always something going on, right? Mustang Alpha. Uh, the ship, it spawned here like this. <laughs> so and I don't think I float it. So maybe we can repair it before we take off. But uh, super cool look to the ship. I love the landing gear that they're actual wheels out there. This is a starter ship. I think it's $40, $45 right now on the Plague Store. And it is the the fighter variant of the starter ship. Um, quick rock walk around to the outside. You see there are some horizontal uh, uh, stabilators over there. There are the wings that fold up. Uh, very high so there is really good storage with the ship uh if you look at that cockpit tons of glass in that cockpit i mean a ton we're gonna have really good views um from the cockpit on the nose you can see that we have a uh, a gimbal turret with two size ones on this ship oh, no no they're size twos um, and they are on that front gimbal. Uh, those are the main weapons. Uh, the, they don't come with attritions, but they do come stock with this uh, turret. And it is uh, auto gimbaled. Uh, and it is bespoke. You can't change it out. You can just change the weapon types. Um, coming around the starboard side, we can see more of the ship. There is no missiles on the ship. Um, there, there are uh, spots for guns, as you can see up on the folded wing there. I have a set of gimbaled attrition ones. Since they are size ones, uh, the hard point is a size one. You don't lose anything by putting a gimbal on it and then putting a uh, a size one weapon on there. So all f and I have one on the on the port side as well. So all four weapons are fully gimbaled, which is going to be nice when we dogfight with the auto gimbals. Um, we can see the the intakes right there are uh, they look good. They look like kind of a modern fighter would, and uh, this thing actually maneuvers pretty darn well, like a modern fighter. I. I'm kind of dig digging this damage model here. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect it to spawn in like this, but uh, you know, it did. And uh, I like it. I like the, mo you know, the look that it's been shot at and stuff. And makes me look tough, I guess. Uh, I believe this is a some kind of a cargo area. I believe there is. Oh, I think. Yeah. Can't s s open cargo bay, it says. Uh I don't fly the ship very often because, you know, I, I just don't fly starter ships that often, but it does have a cargo capacity of four SCU. So this is where those SCU go. So this is where you can fill up stuff um, to do uh, cargo missions where, you're, you know, you can't do a box mission in it because there's nowhere to put a box, but you can do a cargo mission in it because um, there is a place for cargo to go in there so if you want to load up some cargo at a station go ahead a uh, quick look in the wheel well um you can see that that is actually backwards up there the warning and the loading mechanism um okay interesting uh, i wonder if it's mirrored on the other side and that's what they did yes it's so it's just mirrored so you can tell the ship is definitely symmetrical all right let's uh get out of the wheel wells get out of there let's go enter the ship by the way there's my other attrition one up there um now we got some sunlight on the ship starting to look good i like how it looks like there's all kinds of fingerprints and stuff on the, on the cockpit glass so we're not going to open the canopy we're going to uh, enter pilot seat just like that ah uh, there we go there's a view getting in the seat and you see there actually is a little bit of room behind us i know it's hard to see um but this is kind of where the mustang beta has some of its storage there in the fuselage um there is room there 
I mean, it looks it looks like there's a spot for a co-pilot seat almost. Um, even though you can't put two people in here, I have actually had Jawa fit in here before. I had a Mustang Alpha, and I think it was on a stream once, and he was able to get back there, and and we both flew together. We were able to fly back home together. So let me see if I can repair this ship before we even take a look. Fifty UAVC repair. Maybe there there was something wrong with the ship. I, maybe it got shot up when I was on the way out here. There we go. Look at that. And it's all fixed up now. Let's go ahead and fire the ship up. Okay, so we're all operational. We're going to go ahead and lift off from Port Olisar, even though there's probably a bad guy in the air. And we're going to head forward into cruise control. Um, you can see the whole Mustang Alpha look there. Uh, we still got the gear out. The gear is going to come in um, and the wings will spread when we bring the gear in. So let's go ahead and see that animation. Oh, it looks very good. There's a ship above us. Looks like a Carrick flying around. So there we go, folks. There, there's the Mustang Alpha. We can do kind of the exterior tour. It's got, um, you know, good sized wings. Should provide good enough lift and atmosphere with horizontal uh, stabilizers in the back. It's got really big engines. Um, and those are the two main engines. You'll see that will change as we go through the different models, uh, through the Beta and the Delta and the Gamma, and maybe even a maybe even a surprise model who knows you'll have to stick around and see that um but you can see there's a ton of glass on this ship and uh it, it's it's just compared to the aurora as the other starter ship it's a really nice ship and who doesn't like that view i really like the the, the pieces on the edge of the wing there the i don't think what you should call them the winglets i guess <laughs> They don't really do anything and they're not going to provide you more lift or anything. They're maybe going to channel airflow in, in realistic uh, aerodynamics, but uh, they look cool. Uh, here's me firing the weapons there. There's all four weapons going at once. So uh, you'd think quite a bit of firepower, but we're going to see exactly how much it's going to be. <laughs> Let's get in the cockpit here um, now that we've done the exterior tour. Um, as you can see, a ton of glass. So you can see really far up. You can see good on the sides. You can't see straight down. But you can see to the left pretty darn well as well. Uh, we have one, two, three, four multi-purpose displays with a 2D radar in the center. Um, I like this look. I, I, I feel like it's a flat touch screen and I kind of like it. I really like Consolidated Outlands cockpits. Um, buttons here from the bottom. There's the ejection button. The engine button is the power off button to the left. We have open pilot canopy, the ladder, uh, uh, once again, open exterior, press to unlock. On the right side, engine on, engine off. And that's that's about it. Over to the right, I don't really see much. Um, up here, there is exit 0G to, towards the top. And I believe, is it all the way to the left? There's an exit somewhere around here. Um, I'm not sure which one it is, but... It is there. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the interaction in the cockpit uh, besides the HUD. Um, so we are at SEM speed at 191 meters a second. Let's go ahead and jump up to max power. You can see the th all the Mustangs actually have really quick acceleration. Some of them are even more than others, but they all are very quick to accelerate. So we're up at 1,160 basically meters a second 1159 1160 so pretty quick ship it it definitely is it is quick um uh, <laughs> we're gonna exchange our gimbals to actually gimbaled and let's see where those retro thrusters are firing um you can see they're firing out what what i thought was at least the intake um i'm not sure where the ship is taking in hydrogen if it even does but Retro thrusters fired. We are back down to a uh, not a whole lot of thrust. <laughs> and that's about it, guys. Um, there's the basic cockpit here. Uh, we'll give it a give it a roll here. Pretty good roll rate for the Mustang Alpha. 
with Crusader here. Let's go ahead and center ourselves at Crusader. Let the TBI catch up and let's do full pitch. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good for full pitch. Not super fast. It's not a racing ship, but it's pretty quick. Let's try full yaw. And this is no boost. This is just stock engine. So not bad on full yaw. And then here's the roll. Not bad. It's it's pretty darn agile. Um, I like this ship. It's it's a nice ship. So let's find uh, an enemy to kill since this is a light fighter. Uh, we're not going to do a cargo run or anything. After we're done with this, we'll get into the beta. We'll get into the delta, the gamma, maybe another Mustang. Who knows? We'll do loadouts. We'll do the ship brochure. We'll do the commercials and then we'll sign off. So um, anybody that's new coming into Star Citizen in uh, Alpha 315 that's shortly coming out. Um, if you're considering this ship, awesome ship to try. Um, I like it a lot. And then, uh, you know, maybe you'll join the community. One day you'll you'll melt it or you'll upgrade it and go from there. But it is a good, good starter ship to start with. All right. So let's go find some trouble <laughs> and uh, stay tuned. If you haven't already, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, and if 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 you're not sure just yet, if you want to subscribe, wait till the end of the video if I am earned your like earned your subscribe i really appreciate it. it helps the channel out a lot all right guys stay tuned the consolidated atlam mustang alpha is a sleek and stylish spacecraft that uses ultralight alloys to push power ratios to the limits albeit sometimes unsafely as it inspired as it is inspired by consolidated atlam ceo silas corners cutting edge vision and now with the optional cargo carrier you can have the Alpha's advantages without sacrificing carrying capacity. Um, it is my great pleasure to introduce you to a ship so advanced that it will set the benchmark for innovation and excellence. That was a quote by Silas Kerner, CEO and founder of Consolidated Outland. So uh, this ship is a light freight ship, um, although I consider it a fighter. Uh, it's small size, it's a Mustang series, crew of one, cargo capacity of four SCU in game. It costs about 251400 Alpha UEC. You can buy it at the New Deal Shipyard in Lorville. You can rent it for about 5000 Alpha UEC or 3000 rec per day. Uh, it's about 2 minutes and 15 seconds to claim it uh, with an expedite uh, fee of 340 Alpha UEC. And the expedite is immediate because it is a starter ship. Um, in real life, it costs about, I think, $45. Uh, I, I think the ship is actually $30. But uh, you, typically people pledge to the game with it, which is $45, the pledge plus the ship. Um, what else? I think that's about it for the Mustang Alpha. Um, it was uh, released in Star Citizen Alpha 3.3 as it, uh, it had a rework with the whole Alpha series uh, from 2017 to 2018. So that is a little bit of history on the Mustang Alpha. Okay, everybody, so we are back. We are cruising into this asteroid field, uh, and we need to neutralize this target, Roland Mabasa. Um, you can see we got partial light in this asteroid field, um, obscured most of it by the shadow of Yella, um, which is fine. We'll, we'll see You know what we're doing. We're just a little bit above SCM, as you can see over here on this side. We're just a, a couple ticks above SCM speed, which is kind of where I like to fight. Now, this ship does not have missiles. If um, I can't even put it into missile operator mode, which is fine. All I want are these guns. We have an equal load um, across our power uh, consumption here, and we can see that these shadows are giving way. Pretty cool transition where these asteroids now get light, which is going to help us anyway. It's going to help us fight. So we're getting closer to our target here. Um, because this is a video for more new players, um, I'm going to attempt to use just mouse and keyboard instead of uh, I have two uh, J60 or T16,000 joysticks that I usually use for dogfighting. But since we're gimbaled and uh, this is more for new players, uh, this is what we're going to use. So as we came in here, we saw that our our target has uh, has moved now that we kind of know the area he's in. He's in. We're gonna hit center him on our crosshairs and hit T 
on the keyboard and that's going to target him we can see down here that he is in a cutty black we did take a medium risk target mission so we'll we'll see how well we do against this size two ship um hopefully we'll get him before his friends join in okay here we go when we get in range the uh reticle will will get bigger um we probably need to be inside of uh we need to probably start at 2000 here um and he's already shooting a a missile at us yeah he thinks it's gonna phase me i i hit h to let go some of my flares which are called decoys okay inside 2000 so see our, our crosshairs moving around and I'm using the W, S, A, and D keys to get him. And now I'm using a little bit of boost to keep up with him, try to get on a six. And now I'm just strafing to the right. I ran out of uh, energy ammunition there. Wait for some of it to recharge and I'm going to let loose with everything I got right now, trying to, trying to take down his shields, which it looks like I did. Now I got to let my weapons recharge a little bit. And because I am more maneuverable than him, I am out strafing him, although desync is helping him out a little bit. So I am, you know, going backwards and I'm, I'm using boost with the shift button um, as I can to, to help me out. You see, he's doing a few maneuvers there. This isn't a very high risk target. It's just a medium risk. Okay, ran out of energy weapons there. So I'm just gonna try and maneuver around him. His friends just showed up as you can see by the other triangles. And, uh, okay. His shields are still out. And he did hit me. He has, he has more armor than I do, I believe. But he has a Drake ship, so who knows? Oh, another missile. I'm hitting H to try to get it to... There we go. Try to get it off me. Probably gave him time to recharge his shields. I don't love mouse and keyboard. I'm much more intuitive because I'm used to my joysticks. But, you know, I figure you guys deserve to to have have me fight fair. Whoa! See how they joust you? They get real close. Ooh, when we get down to the last guy, I'll try to do it in third person. Okay, so we got our actual target. Now, these guys are just mop-up, right? So we got our money. And now I want to get this guy, Takahishi McCarthy, who also is in a Cutlass Black. And then there's his friends shooting at me. Okay. And we're just, again, we're just trying to stay on a six, trying to out strafe him, which is the A and the D keys. And we're, whoa, part of his ship flew off. That wasn't me. I mean, that was me shooting him, but. And we're just letting our weapons reach. We're not even messing with the recharge rate right now. We're just letting our auto gimbals do what they do. We're shooting them with two size twos, two size ones. Trying to out out turn him, out flank him. This is pretty much how you handle the PVE missions, guys. Collision alert, because he wasn't really doing a whole lot there. We're just gonna keep pounding his shields. These uh size two and below shields are bubble shields, so it's one shield really for the whole ship. They don't have facings anymore. And I believe that's also true for 315. That was a new thing in 314 for us. Before, uh, sh every ship had four sides of shields. Okay, another Cutlass Black Gun. That's 1,200 Alpha UBC. Not bad. And this guy is in a Gladius Valiant. Interesting. So let's... I'll try to fight him in third person. I got to be able to see him. Oh, looks like he lit off some countermeasures or something. There he is. So if you kind of try to center your ship, you can, oh, ho. You, you can let your auto gimbals just kind of do the work. <laughs> Maybe then I won't have to have a, a, a chase camera dog fight for, for this video. This guy is definitely less tough than the cutties. But he is more maneuverable as well. But overall, he's size one, just like I am. Ooh, and there he goes. We missed the explosion. 
Okay, so there's a little dog fighting in first person and third person. You got it all from the Mustang Alpha. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Now we are going to head back to Port Allsar. We're going to go hop in the Mustang Beta and kind of show you what that ship can do, uh, what it looks like, uh, some of the unique features to it. And uh, then we'll move on to the Delta and the Gamma. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, I am excited to see our next ship. Uh, it's out of the Mustang series. It's probably my favorite ship, and that is the Mustang Beta. The Consolidated Outland Mustang Beta is a variant of the Mustang. Whoa, civilian <laughs> spacecraft classified as a touring and exploration ship. The Mustang Beta has an extended range over the Mustang Alpha. And again, this ship is damaged. These guys must be shooting the ship or something or PO shooting it when I when I call it. Um, with a series of updates to appeal to cost conscious explorers, the beta ships with the hardened Tarsus Leaper jump engine, as well as a small rear cabin with room for amenities and life support equipment. Uh, it's unprecedented range and thrilling pilot experience is made for long duration flights. While the beta's jump engine will take you to the galaxy's furthest systems, the ship's living quarters will make it seem like you never left home. That's right, folks. The ship has living quarters. And just like I told you where Jawa sat before, you can kind of see it right now. In this back area, this is kind of where you go and that's where you sit. It, it kind of blows your mind a little bit about like, where do they find room for it? <laughs> um, well, I can tell you where because it has no cargo capacity. That's right, this ship has zero SCU of cargo capacity, but it is more of an explorer ship uh, for the place to sleep and a little galley and stuff. Uh, it is a crew of one, small size ship. It is a Pathfinder type ship. Uh, it costs 404,000 Alpha UEC in game at New, uh, Lorville New Deal Shipyard. You can buy, uh, rent it for 8,000 Alpha UEC or 4,000 rec per day. Um, Claim time is 2 minutes, 15 seconds. Expedite is 340 off of UEC with a uh, claim time, uh, expedite time of zero. Uh, the ship as a standalone price is $40. Um, and it, it was introduced in lore about seven years ago. And again, it went through the rework in 3.3. And it's very similar to the Mustang Alpha, right? You can see that there's a gun up there, right? That is, uh, I have a CF series on this. Um, Instead of size twos, this turret is size one gimbaled. This thing is size one gimbaled. And same thing on the other wing. It's got the great glass of the Mustang series as I'm monopolizing the port side of this aircraft. But you see the wings fold back. The landing gear is the same. Really, the main difference between this and the Alpha is that it has a living quarters and a galley and stuff. Uh, and the weapons are smaller. It still has no missiles or anything like that. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and enter the Mustang Beta. All right. So as you can see, it looks exactly like the Mustang Alpha, especially from the cockpit. So let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Now, uh, if you are new, uh, that's OK. These ships I have, they are upgraded. Uh, you know, not that anything matters anymore in 314, but uh, maybe it'll matter in the future. Uh, who knows? And we're going to get a wipe anyway. <laughs> but I like to upgrade my ships even because I have all the stuff to upgrade. Them. So uh, we're going to actually see if we can repair this ship real quick. And again, 50 Alpha UEC repair. I think maybe the PO was actually shooting me while I was trying to shoot someone else. So you can see the ship's all repaired now. No more damage textures on the Mustang Beta. So let's go ahead and take off. And we will fly through the rings of Port Alisar and we will hit in as the landing gear animation is the same as it is on the Alpha. Okay, but it does say beta on the wings. So just so you know, it does say beta. All right, let's get straight and level here. Uh, it does have a different paint scheme. It's that yellow and blue uh, from Consolidated Outland, which uh, has the beta markings on the side. Um, as uh, I fire the weapons, you can see that, again, it still has four. They are still gimbaled, but uh, they are all size one. There's the beta marking on uh, the, the retro thruster slash engine intake, I think. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the outside of the Mustang beta. Looks pretty cool from that angle, I think. All right, let's move into the cockpit here. 
Uh, we can see the cockpit is going to be exactly the same as the Mustang Alpha. Uh, it's got four MFDs, a 2D radar. It's like a touchscreen panel. On the left, open pilot canopy, the ladder, the canopy, exterior, press to unlock. Uh, eject there, power in the middle. On the right side, engine on, engine off. And notice to the right here, it says exit to the rear. That's a little different, right? Uh, exit zero G up there. And then I think to the left somewhere is actual exit. Okay, guys, so I, I cut it out of the video. Do not hold down the Y button. If you hold down the Y button to get out of your seat, you'll get out of your seat. You'll open up the cockpit and the ship will leave you if you're still moving. So don't do what I just did. And if you actually want to get to the rear of your ship, you're going to hold down F. You're going to span all the way to the right and you're going to hit exit to the rear. What that does is spin your seat all the way around. All right. And so now then your seat will spin around again as we're just kind of floating here now. In this area, this is kind of, like I said, this is kind of where Java was hanging out when I was I was flying back. Um, and you can definitely have more than one passenger or more than one person on the ship. But now you see that little door open and we got this cute little cozy uh, Mustang Beta living space. And I'm experiencing force reactions right now, which is kind of cool. So you see, we have a sink. We have a little hot plate for a stove. Nothing is really interactable right now, but uh, we have ventilation. It reminds me of a poor man's 300i, really. Um, we have a little bed, which you can enter. You can sleep on it. There's a screen up here for you. Um, there's even the air control filter system. <laughs> um, and believe it or not, guys, it has a toilet. Well, yeah, it is a it is a full toilet and. Uh, it, uh, it does have a shower head up here, so you'll be able to poop and shower at the same time. And there is the drain for that. And yeah, that is a, a real working toilet uh, with apparently a radio next to it. So you can talk to people while you're using the facilities. Um, now, I have sat down on this before because I have a one of my favorite pictures of myself is using this toilet. But apparently I can't do it today. Maybe they took that ability away. I don't know. But I was I was sitting down it and I, I took a picture of myself and it was pretty awesome. So anyway, a uh, little cozy living area back here in the Mustang Beta. And we will go ahead and hop back into the cockpit. Ooh, look at that leather seat. I like that. All right, and now we're flying our little ship. So you can see where, exactly where that was and where that fit in, uh, in the fuselage compartment, where the cargo area was for uh, the Mustang Alpha. So I still consider the Beta a starter ship, even though the Alpha is a little bit cheaper. Uh, $10 cheaper. So um, I don't think you can bring a... You could try to bring a box in there for a box mission, and it, while it would certainly fit, I don't think... You can carry a box up the ladder of the Mustang Beta because you have to sit in the seat and then turn around. Um, so I don't think you can do box missions on this. You can't do cargo missions. So it really is an exploration ship. It's a Pathfinder ship. But it could also be a little bit of a dogfighter too. Um, so let's check out our speeds. 187 SCM, 188 at SCM. Again, really quick acceleration here. You can see our engines firing out there. Uh, and we're going to not as quick as some of the other ships, but we're going to max out at roughly 12, 15 meters a second. Let's go back down to our normal SCM speed. You can see our, the retro thrusters firing and port all of us are way in the background there. Okay. So let's, uh, let's find a mission. Let's get into some trouble, figure it out. We're going to turn on our gimbal turrets. I know my turrets are gimbal because if I if I turn on target mode, you can see they follow the reticle. Okay. So I'm gonna find a mission. Stick with me. Okay, guys. So we are headed towards our target. We're a little ways out, but I am going to uh 
treat this mission like I would any other mission because I do have my sticks and I already did the, the mouse and keyboard <laughs> normal uh you know noob noob kind of stuff but I have these sticks so I can use them and while the Mustang Alpha has the same size one components as the as the beta uh or I should say the beta has the same as the alpha and nice of the asteroids to spawn in um you know, I have these tools, I want to use them. So I got my speed up a little bit so I could get to the target a little bit quicker. I still don't have any missiles in a Mustang series. I think the Mustang Delta has rockets. But other than that, that's about it. I got a Cutlass Black here. Now, I bumped up my lasers by two notches, so it'll give me a quicker recharge. And it will uh, uh, give me a few more, few more energy bullets, so to speak. I'm, I'm already strafing him. And his buddies are already here, so it's pretty probably a good idea that I'm using my uh, my sticks. And here's two inbound missiles. Already fired some flares, trying to avoid them. When I'm inside two, there we go. So now we're gonna fire all of our weapons at them, using our boost. Now the danger with going with less shields in this scenario is that if I get hit a bunch it's going to hurt worse just like that but they are recharging a little bit so i, I kind of like the trade-off most of the time but if i start to take a, a like damage and stuff i will hit f8 and balance all my stuff around okay so a bunch more uh flares there Staying on, trying to stay on the six of this cutty. Whoa, I hit something. Not sure if someone ran into me. Probably. Trying to strafe him, do some turns, reorientate my ship. Okay, his shields are definitely down. And just focusing fire. There we go. Okay, so the mission is over. We got that done. Here's a Mustang Delta. So Mustang on Mustang violence. You got a couple hot shots on me there. We're going to be flying this ship uh, next. <laughs> so you're going to see me flying this ship. And there goes the Delta. Okay, what is this guy? An M50. I hate M50s. Because they, they joust a lot because they're way faster. And I would do the same thing in my M50. So this guy's just going to be flying towards me, turning, shooting, flying towards me, turning, shooting. So having a gimbaled couple turrets does help. Having a nimble fighter also helps. So it's just basically getting fire on target. I should have waited until he was closer. Oh, it looks like I might have got on six a little bit. He forgot to turn. You see his shields are out. Okay, he's definitely taking some damage. Where I really haven't taken any. Yeah, he's upset. Focusing on that fire. There we go. Smoked. Okay, guys. I don't think we're going to do any chase camera dive fighting with this ship either. Um, okay, let's fade back out. There we go. So the Mustang Beta uh, wins the day with a pretty easy dogfight on, on a medium risk target mission. And uh, yeah, we're going to go back to Port Alsar here. We're going to probably grab a damaged Mustang Delta model and uh, we'll we'll do some combat with that. The, the Delta is a little bit different than the other two ships as it is made for dogfighting. Whereas the other, you know, the, these this ship and the, is a Pathfinder and the Mustang Alpha is kind of a light freight slash light fighter. So stick with us and we'll be right back. All right, guys, who's ready for the next ship? I hope you are. As promised, after the beta, we are going to look at the Consolidated Outland Mustang Delta. 
which is the militia variant of the Mustang. While it might not be able to go toe to toe with some of the military specific ships by reinforcing the Mustang's already strong hull construction with Consolidated Outland's own line of cavalry class mass reduction armor, the Delta has a reduced cross section signature that even that evens out the playing field. In a universe as vast and wonderful as ours, anything can happen and it pays to be ready for anything. We wanted to ensure two things with the design of the Mustang Delta, that any conflict would be over as soon as possible, and more importantly, that the Delta would be the ship left flying. That's obviously a quote from uh, from Silas Corner, the CEO of Consolidated Outland. And this is the Mustang Delta, folks, right in front of us. It is a light fighter, size small, crew of one, zero SCU of cargo capacity. Uh, as part of the Mustang series, you can buy this ship for 763600 Alpha UEC at New Deal Shipyard in Lorville. You can rent it for 15000 uh, UEC or 6500 rec per day. Claim time is just under three minutes, and expedite time is zero for 425 Alpha UEC. Again, it's part of kind of a starter ship still. Yeah, the standalone price of this ship is $65 US and it is time limited sales. Um, we're going to check out the speeds and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, this this is the fighter variant, uh, like the dedicated fire fighter variant of the Mustang series. Um, you can see up here at the nose, we have a hey, once again, we have size two uh, uh, repeaters. It comes with badgers, I think, 227s. Um, on the nose turret, which is gimbaled. Um, you'll notice up here we have size two guns on the wing. So all guns are now size two, except these guns are fixed. They are not gimbaled. I could have gimbaled size ones to make it like the Mustang Alpha, but I didn't want to do that. So we'll just fly the everything fixed instead of a gimbal mode. And uh, we'll just have to be a better shot, I guess. If you notice this guy up here, it's one of the few ships in the game that actually has rockets. And this is... Uh, they come with uh, 36 Venom rockets by Nova Pyrotechnica. Um, and the actual rocket pod is the Jericho XL, which is made by none other than Hurston Dynamics. Um, you can see the, the ship skin here is kind of a white, but it's actually going to look, I believe it looks a little green when it's really out there in the sun. It's pretty shadowy here um, on out here in uh, uh, Port Olisar. Now, Notice the fuselage, no cargo space here. Um, so I don't know if it has the, I don't think it has the extra engine, but it kind of boggles the mind here of necessarily why there's nothing in the fuselage area. The beta has a whole bed area and the alpha has cargo space, but here the Delta, yeah, we got bigger weapons on the wings and we got rocket pods, but that's really it. Maybe there's some kind of reinforced armor or more fuel or something like that. I'm, I'm not quite exactly sure, guys. I, know, I I try to give out the best information I can, but I, I am not an expert in these ships by any means whatsoever. But I have flown it quite a few times, so I think I'm able to give you an honest review of the ship. But, you know, again, I don't know everything and I'm not claiming to. So you can see over here on our on our ship pad, uh, all four weapons are size two. And then we have 36 rockets each. Last time I fired rockets, they didn't actually show up graphically, but they did actually hit the target. So we'll figure out how that's going to work. Um, let's go ahead and we will take off. And we will retract our landing gear and our wings. Looking good. And we will engage the thrusters. So, I don't know. It kind of has this white. It's supposed to be like a whitish greenish look on the Mustang Delta, but uh, the shader I have on right now, it looks very white, <laughs> which is fine. Um, a lot of the pictures I've seen, it looks more like this OD green that you see in the back. But this is the, the Mustang Delta, folks. Um, looks just like the Mustang Alpha and the Mustang paid. Of course, uh, but on the bottom of the ship, so one of the coolest views um, is the outline of the Mustang here. And it is, it's so cool looking. It's, it's a little bit alien, uh, but it looks awesome. I like where the lights are placed on the ship as well. So there is your exterior tour, pretty much the same as any other Mustang. And it does just have the two engines there. 
So let's hop back in the cockpit. We can see that we have the eject down here. We have power off up here to the left. The same thing as everything else. Exterior, unlock, open the, open the canopy and ladders. To the right, engine on, engine off. Four multifunction displays with a 2D radar and a bad guy right there. Hope he doesn't shoot me there. It is, it is a Mustang Beta, apparently. Is that a uh, computer guy? I can't tell. Let's let's scan him. Let's well, slow down too. Just says Mustang Beta. Ah, uh, game rule. So that is actually a player. But I don't plan on shooting him. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't plan on shooting me. So, with that being said, I'm going to untarget him. Um, rest of the cockpit tour, there's not much else to see. There is no exit to the right. There is nothing behind us. But if we do turn around and look, just like the Mustang Alpha, there is a little space back there. It looks like it could almost be a seat. But, uh, yeah. If you could fit someone back there, cool. Awesome. So let's do what this ship does best. Let's do a little dog fighting. And uh, so stay tuned for that, guys. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we are back and uh, we're headed towards our target, who has an awesome name in Goro. Goro Adoi? Adoi? Something like that. So we're going to head towards this area and hopefully we'll find him and then we'll slow down. We're doing about 500 meters a second right now and i i remember now I, we totally forgot to see the scm and all that on this ship but let's see if we can kill this guy first um we do have some kind of a weird missile operator mode but let's see that's the main button fires everything and then the secondary fire button fires rockets as you can see there's no rockets that show up but uh, I would love to hit this guy with stuff. So we're going to strafe out of those missiles that he just shot us with. Yeah, here we go. We're going to fire at you. Oh, you ran right into me. I hate it when they jazz. I was trying to update my uh, lasers here. Oh, well, I'll fight at a dis disadvantage. See, I am shooting rockets at him, and they're hitting him, but... You see how they're hitting him? But you don't see any animation. Yeah, that's rockets right there that was hitting him. It's a good little uh, mix between, you know, using your guns and stuff. Again, we need some more, need some more flares there. We'll see those missiles missed us. Yeah, he's not happy. It is an anvil hurricane. We did take a high risk target mission. So maybe I shouldn't have in my Delta. It's a lot harder of a target to uh, do good damage on. And who knows? Maybe they'll they'll kill me. I am going to neutralize out my shields because they are shooting me and taking it down quite a bit. And this guy appears to also have a gunner with him. So if I can even out the score by shooting rockets at him. Yeah, he doesn't seem happy, but nothing's really happening here. This hurricane can take just a ton of damage, can it? There he goes. Finally. Holy jeez. Oh, another M50. So let's go after the Aurora instead of the M50 because he's going to be doing more damage to me. We're going to have to joust fight the M50 anyway. Okay. Ooh, I got him with that rocket. So really with the rockets, just line up to him, you know, boom, just like that. Ooh, pieces of them are flying off. 
trying to get them while I can. There he goes. All right. Now I moved more power to my weapons because the M50, even though he has a shotgun, he, I don't think he's going to do as much damage, but maybe he will. Who knows? I hate, I hate the joust. I had a player doing that the other day and it was so irritating. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. shooting my rockets at him. I definitely got him with a rocket. See how he's how he was spinning. Yeah, he's not. Do oh, there he goes. All right. So combat in the Mustang Delta, folks. Iris target mission. It can be done. Um, I have my shields down for a little while. I'm going to even that out. I probably took a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. Um, effective use of boost and scooting around and I use 33 well totally total 66 rockets so uh, use the tools that you have <laughs> all right let's find SEM speed for this guy because we forgot to do that okay 184 meters a second let's find our total max speed here It is slower to accelerate. I can tell you that our max speed 1226. So no slouch 1226 is actually really, really fast. Um, so good on that. Let's look at our roll rate. Good roll rate. Let's look at our pitch. Good pitch. Uh, not as fast as the racer variants, but good pitch. And actually a really good yaw. That's what makes this thing a good fighter. It's able to yaw really well. So all in all, it's a great flyer. It's a fun ship to fly. Um, I still don't like it as much as I like uh, the beta, but let's see if we can see one of the rockets come out. I don't think we will. So here's our, here's our weapons. Yeah, we don't see any of the rockets. Yeah, that's too bad, but that's how it is folks. So next up is going to be the uh, maybe the last ship. Maybe not. You'll have to stick around and see if there's bonus content. But uh, the Mustang Gamma is the next ship. It is the the racer variant. And uh, stay tuned uh, for more content uh, on the Mustang series. Take care. All right, folks. Time for the next ship of the Mustang series. That's right. It is the Mustang Gamma by Consolidated Outland. It is the racer variant of the Mustang. It has a larger power plant and an extra main engine, which gives the ship smooth acceleration and power on demand. If getting there is half the fun, that other half's getting there first in the Mustang Gamma. I really like the gray and the blue color scheme. It kind of has that metallic blue um, shader to it, and it looks fantastic. Um, I think it looks really good. And the kind of, you know, look that the, the, the metal's worn here on the Mustang. It looks fantastic. Um, you can see I put a little flare on this guy. It's got some, uh, some size uh, one um, uh, laser repeaters, the NDB-26s, the neutrons, as this guy takes off in his Vanguard. Um, cool ship. Uh, definitely the same as the rest of the Mustang classes, right? Here's the look from the front. Uh, with our two engines there. Um, notice there is no front turret in this guy, so firepower is limited, um, but you're getting speed for that. Um, I have this ship fully kitted out in competition components. Um, everything from the shield to the quantum drive to the coolers, everything is competition. Uh, this ship does not have any cargo area. It is a crew of one um, small ship, and, and again, it is it is a racing ship. Um, so let's hop in the cockpit when we'll talk a little bit more about the gamma um the ship costs three hundred twenty-seven thousand five hundred alpha ubc in game at new deal shipyard in lordville um you can rent it for about 6500 alpha ubc or 5500 wreck it's a really cheap ship uh the claim time is two minutes 15 seconds expedite 340 alpha ubc with no expedite time, standalone price is $55, which I think is a little expensive. 
Um, but it is always available. So, um, yeah, so that's 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 pretty much it for the Mustang Gamma. Let's uh, let's take off here. We will fold in our landing gear and we will engage the ship. Now, look at the back. Aha, you saw that extra the extra engines, huh? So you see that in the middle there towards the bottom, that is the extra engine that they're talking about. There is a third engine on this ship, and that's what gives it its extra boost. Now let's go ahead and see right now we are maximum speed. Uh, and it accelerated very quickly to get there. Um, let's see if we see PO in the background. We are hauling butt away from PO right now. So awesome stuff. It looks like we are sponsored by Kovalex shipping. <laughs> Uh, which is cool. I love that there's sponsors on on these this ship skin. Um, let's get it in the light here. We're, uh, it has the number 32 on it with consolidated outland. Um, it has the gamma on the horizontal sta horizontal stabilizers, which are at a nice little angle, just like the regular Mustang series. If we look at it on the bottom, looks pretty cool. It does say how oh, it rolls so fast. Um, Meriden Transit, is that what that says? And then Consolidated Outland uh, has a really cool profile from the bottom. Um, definitely another Kovalex marking there. So Kovalex likes the Mustang ships, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so let's uh, let's let's check out the interior of this ship. Um, we got the eject right here, the power button on the left side, pilot canopy, open ladder, pilot canopy, open exterior, press to unlock. On the right side, engine on, engine off. And that is about it, folks. There is exit to zero G up there, and then exit should be to the left. Um, we have four multifunction displays and a 2D radar, just like every other Mustang in there. We can see we have 81 shots in our fixed. Are they fixed or are they gimbaled? Let's find out. Oh, they are gimbaled. So they at least they're gimbaled size ones. And I put the neutron on here because it's a purple effect, and I think that's pretty cool. So. With that being said, let's let's check out our top speed. Right now, our top speed is 1340, which is almost 100 SCU faster than the previous ship, the Delta. Let's check how fast we can go back down to SCM speed. You see our retro thrusters firing back there. We're going pretty darn quick. Um, I bet you it's not as fast as it accelerates. Let's uh, go ahead and use our space brake to help us get back down to our normal SCM speed of 241 meters a second. Okay, so let's go down to nothing. And I want to see the acceleration to SCM from nothing. Ready? Go. And boom, SCM. That was really fast. Let's go from nothing to, let's go to max. Let's go from there, 100 SCM, 100 meters a second. Look how fast we're just popping through those ranges. And boom, we're at our max in like, what? Two seconds, two and a half seconds. Pretty darn quick. A lot of Gs being, being put on us when we do that. We're, we're pulling six Gs now, seven Gs, eight Gs, 10, 14, 14, 15, 16. We pulled 16 Gs just doing a full pitch. Here's our roll, pretty quick, but not necessarily quicker than the others. And let's check our yaw from Crusader here. Actually, the yaw is fairly slow compared to some of the other ones, which are, I think are a little bit faster. The pitch was pretty quick though, but really it's the roll. It's really the acceleration that these racing ships, are, um, that's what they, they give us. So while I am not going to race in this ship, um, we are going to do a combat mission um, with the most underpowered of, of the Mustang series. And let's see how that goes. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're headed into our combat mission here uh, in the asteroid field. It's just a medium risk target mission. Um, you can see why I'm flying pretty fast towards our target. Uh, it's probably going to be a Cutlass Black, but we'll see. We'll see what shows up. Um, we don't have any type of missiles in this ship. Remember, it's all guns, but we are gimbaled here and it's, it's size ones. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to slow down a little bit. 
And it is a Buccaneer. So maybe we lucked out. Who knows? Um, he's probably going to fire some missiles at me. I'm actually going to go a little faster than I normally would in a dogfight because this is a racing ship. It's supposed to be able to take this acceleration in stride. Oh. I don't have any... Oh, there we go. I thought I was in quantum or something and wouldn't fire my guns. So, uh, quick tip, if, uh, you know, it does quantum automatically, when you come out of quantum, it stays in quantum. Make sure, you know, you might have to cycle it a couple times to make sure you're out of quantum. Okay, so doing a little damage to them. You know, these size one guns, even though they're gimbaled and they're more accurate, they don't do a whole lot of damage. But the hard point is a size one. So I really don't have much of a choice. Um, uh, you, you always gimbal size ones because you don't lose anything when you do gimbal them. It does give me a little more ammo, I guess. So this guy's kind of hanging out around this little asteroid here. And I was able to successfully dodge away from it because I'm in a faster ship than he is. But the trade-off is I don't do nearly enough damage. I mean, eventually we'll wear him down and we'll, we'll get him, but I think I have... I don't even have his shields down. And he is not happy with us. So... Let our boost recharge a little bit. And he's just jousting me. I'm hoping to get onto a six, but. And maybe I'm going a little too fast for this dogfight. So I'm going to slow down a little bit. I need to continue to use the tactics that I normally use. So I can stay within range of him and not just joust every time. There we go. Now we're starting to get engaged. All oh, those friends are shooting me pretty well. Again, this is guys, this is not a combat ship. It's not meant to be a combat ship. It's meant to be a racing ship. Although every ship should be able to handle a little bit of combat. Um, just the tiniest bit of multi-roll. I'm getting to him. It's going to have to wear him down, you know? Size one weapons. So his buddies are cer certainly shooting at me. And he's, you know, he's regaining his shield. Trying to use my boost effectively to stay with him. As he's basically just making left turns, same as me. If I can, he's a, he's a fast ship, unlike the Cutlass. Cutlass is not slow, but it's not particularly fast. There we go. Okay, I knew we'd wear him down. All right, friends, F7C Hornet. A lot of armor on a Hornet. Also tends to have two explosions. One being the core, another one being uh, the rest of the ship. What are you doing, Hornet? It's kind of a weird tactic to... Ah, uh, you want a missile log, huh? Yeah, that probably wasn't the smartest move, just to back up in a straight line, huh?
So use, you know, use the advantages that you can. My shields are doing okay, though. Got to wear this guy down, too. He's about as strong as the buck. It's taking a little while. Yeah, starting to get his shields down now. Starting to do some actual damage to him. I mean, now that we're all pretty close, we're just really doing circles around each other like a death spiral. So when I take this guy out, uh, then I'll move my weapons up a little bit. For the last guy. Because I don't have anybody else shooting at me, so. Oh, wow. We burned quite a bit of fuel. Again, combat missions in a ship that is not made for combat. Whoa. Lots of desync there. Where'd he go? Did he blow up? He might have. Okay. Freelancer miss on a medium mission. That's interesting. So this guy has all the size two components in this one. So that Mustang must have blown up. But this one, this guy, since he has size two components, we're going to have to wear him down. But we can outmaneuver him pretty darn easily. It's just a matter of keeping our energy weapons charged up. Whoa. Sorry, guys. I thought he was going to move. Now I'm stuck against an asteroid. And so was he. Hopefully he took more damage than I did. Can't believe neither one of us blew up on that one. You see all the shots I'm getting on him. They're not quite doing any damage yet. You can see they're taking down a little bit of his shield. I think his shield's down and we're just, we're actually doing damage now. Just not a lot. Yeah. See now the red shots on him. You can see in the display, he's taking some damage. Oh, what was that? You seriously just hit me. <laughs> he just kind of slammed into me, I guess. He went forward and hit me right on the on the nose. And hey, guys, sometimes that's the way you're going to win your fights. So I should have been more, res you know, more responsive and pulled back or, or gotten a little further away because I think I had him. But uh, oh, there's an NPC in, in in my room. I bet he wants out of there. Oh, I did kill him. I got the 1500 UBC, so. I guess we both blew up, but I won the fight. Alrighty. I think that's it for the Mustang Gamma. Let's move on to the next part of the video. Stay tuned. All right, folks. So we are back um, in the, the good old uh, Mustang series uh, of ship. It is a beautiful day out here at... Daymar at mining area 141 and uh you know you're probably thinking hey fist you just reviewed all the ships but no there is a uh, a ship that I left out a little bit of bonus content you probably already know what it is it is the rare mustang omega and uh, this is a pretty cool ship. One of the fastest ships I've ever flown. Um, it is uh, an AMD ship, right? Sponsored by Klaus and Werner. Um, and by AMD ship, we'll get into that. Let's go over the description. The consolidated outlet Mustang Omega is the limited edition racing model sponsored by Accelerated Mass Design also known as AMD that has also that also excuse me that also has one more engine and a larger power plant so very much like the uh, gamma 
The paint job is designed by resident underground artist Sector 8 at the request of AMD. And Sector 8 is the pseudonym of a street artist who lives and works on Ritif, which is also Bremen 2. Um, they specialize in a colorful abstract pieces that they put up on public buildings over the course of a single evening. Um, the real life AMD stands for advanced micro devices and they make CPUs and video cards and things like that. So the, the way to actually get this ship was, uh, was part of the Mustang Omega, um, AMD never settle space edition promotion. When the ship comes with a, a purchase of an AMD Radeon R9 or R7 series graphics card. Um, from Silas Kerner, it says the soul of every Mustang is perf performance then what better partner to bring that vision to life than accelerated mass design known for their custom tuning amd has time and time again proven themselves to be able to bring out the best in any craft they get their hands on so very rare ship very limited ship um of course it's got the really cool mustang look right and uh that red white black paint scheme beautiful ship um, it is built for racing, so it is made for racing, just like the uh, the Gamma. But this sh ship is fast. Uh, this, this, it's one of the most maneuverable and fastest ships I've ever flown in Star Citizen. Um, its crew size is one, cargo capacity is zero. Uh, <laughs> the claim time, 2 minutes, 15 seconds. Expedite is zero. Expedite fee, 340 Alpha UEC. Uh, the availability is only through the promotion. Um, you can't just buy it at IAE or anything like that. Uh, much like the Saber Raven, you have to buy the Intel stuff for Saber Raven. Um, it was introduced about seven years ago in lore, and it was reworked in Alpha 3.3. So with that, let's uh, let's even out our view here. We'll take a very quick cockpit tour. It's the same as any other cockpit. You get the eject power. Um, open pilot canopy, ladder, exterior, press to unlock, uh, engine on, engine off. And that is about it. Tons of glass, as with every Mustang. Um, four MFDs, uh, the 2D radar, and the normal HUD. Now, this ship is, right now, it is stock. And we're going to take it out in combat. Uh, excuse me, but it is stock. It's uh, got two laser cannons on it uh, at 53 uh, rounds a piece and you can see here on the wing um, it only has room whoops it only has room for uh, the laser cannons there is no nose turret just like uh, the gamma um, there's no rockets or anything like that it's just uh, it's all about speed on this ship and then in the back section you can also see there's that third engine right um, so this thing is going to it's going to fly so let's go ahead and take off look how fast it's taking off out of day bar we will cycle the landing gear. Oh, man. You can see all the markings on it. Omega 32, Consolidated Outland, uh, AMD, uh, Klaus and Werner. Uh, we'll look at it from a down profile. Uh, looks good. The 32, the AMD. Ooh, this thing's ready to, uh, this thing's ready to go. Okay, let's, uh, even that out again. Let's back up a little bit and we'll just go SCM speed in atmosphere. You can see that third engine on the bottom firing. It's already at SCM. Boom. So we'll we'll pull some G's coming up. We'll turn back over to 141. Maybe. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at how fast this thing pulls. Woo! Real fast, right back to Crusader. Okay, so in the cockpit, we're doing 236, which is SCM speed in atmosphere. Let's crank it all the way up. And we'll see what speed we can do here on Daymar. Now, granted, Daymar is a moon. We'll get a little bit closer. Daymar is a moon, so we're going to be able to go faster on Daymar than we would, say, on like Hurston or Microtech. But just flying out there. We're able to hit at a zero pitch ladder. Um, roughly mid fives, mid five hundreds, which is really fast. And then it's just what it's able to do is pull these rolls 
and just look at these minimum radius turns. This is without boost. Just boom. And let's do uh, let's do another minimum radius turn with boost. So that's with afterburner. I mean, I'm sure I'm blacking out in the cockpit right there. But this ship just, I mean, really, really, really flies fast and well. So let's get out of the atmosphere here. Let's see what the ship can do once we get it into space. Okay, we're out of the atmosphere. Let's quantum to uh, a marker. There we go. There's OM2. Let's spin it around a little bit. That's 10. We're doing 10 G's right now, right now. And our TBI is with us. Just because we're going so fast. 13 G's almost. Okay. So our max speed, we're going to do max speed out here. In space, our max speed, 1340. That is really fast, guys. Um, one of the fastest ships in the game. 1341, looks like. <laughs> Let's let's go back down to SCM. As you can see, just like the Gamma, it's it's very slow to go to SCM speed. You see our retro thrusters working over overtime there. Um, we'll help it along with a little bit of boost to the retros to slow us down to SCM. Now the big thing about this ship for me is that it has some of the fastest pitch rolling yaw. Uh, speeds out of any ship in the game um uh, even though it's a racer right so uh let's go ahead we're gonna do an scm let's go full pitch but let's start let's let's find a start point so we'll start here at daymar okay zero g's and we'll just pitch boom that's really really fast uh Let's go ahead and we'll do some rolls. Good, good roll rate. I had to overcorrect a little bit and then we'll do a yaw straight across. This is all no boost. This is just straight ancient performance. Boom. That's actually a really fast yaw rate. You see our TBI catching up real fast. Let's do a, a boosted yaw. Again, really fast, almost blacking out there. Uh, doing just pulling a lot of G's. All right, guys. So that is the Mustang Omega here. Uh, some flight characteristics of this awesome racing ship. Um, I'm going to have to grab some screenshots. And why am I not wearing a helmet? That's very odd. <laughs> I just, I just dig this ship a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun for me. Um, I was able to obtain this ship um and because i don't own it so i was able to get this ship and be able to fly it there is one more ship in the mustang series which i have not been able to obtain and that is the uh the vindicator the mustang alpha vindicator and really it's just a skin for the mustang alpha it is a mustang alpha with a kind of a white livery um and that was part of uh, citizen con 2948 i think it was a or something like that it was special for that um you can buy it on the gray market i guess for like 150 bucks but that's nah, not gonna happen i'm not gonna buy a mustang for 150 bucks so <laughs> especially if it's just a skin it's it's i would much rather have this ship than, than the other one so let's uh let's find a mission and i want to do some acceleration stuff out of here um and then you know we'll go from there so um, stay tuned and we'll go get in some trouble. All right, folks. So we're here. We're here to, uh, just take out this target. Um, obviously the ship is not really made for combat. It's, it's got gimbaled size ones, which I'm going to turn the gimbals on. Um, and they're laser cannons. It's just not, it's not a combat ship. It's a racing ship. But with that being said, every ship should be able to do a little bit of combat. Um, if you look at the acceleration of this ship, like here I am at SCM, which is really high for SCM. And then I, I just punch it 
boom, I'm up to like 500 super quick. So I want to get to my target fairly quick uh, because I'm going to be able to throttle down and engage with him, hopefully. And just like with the gamma, I'll be able to uh, kind of get behind him. Um, hopefully it's not a freelancer miss that tries to blow me up. Okay, so there's this guy. I think I accidentally shot a shot a chaff off. Okay, so there we are. It's it's a laser cannon instead of a laser repeater, which I don't prefer. I prefer the higher fire rate over the little bit higher alpha damage. And it looks like one of his friends showed up. It, it is a Mustang Delta I'm fighting, so Mustang on Mustang violence. Oh, Delta got some moves, huh? Let's try to use our, our gimbals to good effect. If we can. He's trying to get me around this asteroid. Alright. Alright, don't get angry. How much shields do you have? Am I losing? I'm, I don't really have his shield layout up here. I wish I had repeaters, though. I can tell you that much. It's like I'm taking parts of them off. Boom! There he goes, guys. Bounty is subdued. Like I said, it's just practice here. And then his friend is an Aegis Avenger Stalker. So let's see what we can do against it. I don't love the gimbals in the new patch. All right, let's get him. Legend alert. All right, what are you what are you doing here, Avenger? Are you actually shooting at me? Failure imminent. Stock this this ship is not fun stock. I, I could definitely use more coolers, probably a better power plant. But everything is just so up in the air with 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 statistics right now. Whoa, whoa. A little bit of Ooh, he was coming at me. He knew he was gone. He was coming at me. Alright, guys, so there we go. The uh the Mustang Omega. What do you guys think about it? I think it's a pretty darn awesome ship. Um, great little racing ship. Super fast. I love the colors. I love the design. And, uh, you know, I used to have an AMD graphics card, and uh, I now have an NVIDIA. <laughs> because, frankly, uh, while they're not as cost effective, they are actually faster slash better. Um, in my opinion, uh, for this game, they just seem to work a little bit better. Um, so anyway, guys, there you go. There's your bonus content, the Mustang Omega. All right, with that, let's move on to the next part of the video, the loadouts. Hey, folks, so we're here at the loadout at Urkel.Games, the DPS calculator, live uh, with the 314 layout here. Um, we have the Mustang Alpha out here, the Starter Light Freight Ship, multi-roll, ship size 2, hull hit points, 8,431. We can see its speed is 191 meters a second at SCM, maximum 1160. That's actually pretty good SCM and max for a starter ship. Pitch 54, yaw 54, roll 210, and that's a really good roll. Uh, standard hydrogen and quantum fuel capacity, and again, you can... Uh, buy it at Lorville uh, at New Deal Shipyard for 251,000 off EBC. One of the cheapest ships in the game, actually, to buy out. Um, it, this is how it comes stock right now. Um, the, the turreted nose, uh, two size twos. It comes with laser cannons, M4As, and then it doesn't come with anything on the wings. Um, my recommendation is to definitely load those up. Um, we can see our DPS right now is 807 with 220 alpha. We're going to change everything out to a repeater. 
Uh, we're gonna go with the cheapest, the two two sevens. Um, notice I changed our DPS over to eight hundred with eighty alpha damage. Um, we're gonna put gimbals on both of our wings, and we're gonna load up one seventeens because they are the cheapest, giving us a new DPS of fourteen seventy two with one thirty six alpha damage. Now, I know the shields don't matter, but they do come as civilian grade D and pretty much everything except for the quantum drive of civilian grade C. It cannot make the trip from PO to Microtech without refueling. That's no good. Uh, for the shields, I'm going to go with what I would normally use, which is an FR-66 and either another FR-66 or I would use a Palisade, which is the highest shield hit point pool in the past uh, as an industrial shield. They're both grade A's. Um, the 314, feel free to use the cheapest shield. It doesn't even matter, but maybe in the future it might. So I'm going to stick with Palisade. Build. Power plants. It comes swing grade D, 1893 power. Not great. You can see it's almost maxed out. We're going to upgrade that to the military JS300. 3681, it has the fastest recharge um, for military. It's a grade A. And notice our power, we cut it, you know, we have we're not even at half right now we're close to half but that's really good have a lot of extra power there that way things aren't going to overheat or anything for our coolers it comes with spinning grade d it's 194k uh, cooling times two 388k we don't need to upgrade the coolers uh, we have plenty of cooling in this ship but if i was going to max it out i would put in ultra flow civilian grade a i'm sorry industrial grade a's and that really kicks our cooling up to 880 um, and only using 83, so plenty of cooling. Our quantum drive, I, I will use our civilian Atlas, which is a great A, uh, taking us from PO to Microtech in eight minutes, and that gives us plenty of range. It's really pretty good on fuel. It's it's the best, it's the fastest, most efficient quantum drive that's that I think you can buy um, for a size one component. Um, you are not stealthy in the ship. Your EM is 12,000. Your IR is almost 10,000, it's 9,900, um, but great little ship here. This is the loadout. Let's go ahead and put our items into our cart, see how much it costs right now in 314. Uh, you can buy most of your stuff at uh, New Babbage. Um, so if we were going to do one-stop shopping at New Babbage and, and buy the Atlas at Port Olisar, um you can buy Gim oh yeah you can buy gimbals pretty much anywhere but if we were going to do that our total cost to upgrade would be 153,078 to upgrade the mustang alpha um, which is not too bad um you can definitely get some ships that have a lot more uh cost so let's close that out um i want to bring up these stats right here because i want to go through them with the different um consolidated outlands ships so you hear you see the alpha you see the beta so the alpha whole hit points are the same the mass is a little different the beta is more mass the speed difference is about 10 more scm for the alpha um and but the beta has a higher top speed 1160 to 1216. the alpha whoa i didn't mean to click that sorry folks the alphas and Beta's uh, picture roll yaw is about the same. The roll is a little bit better on the Alpha. Hydrogen capacity is more on the Beta, which makes sense. It's an Explorer, so you have more quantum fuel and more hydrogen on the Beta. Uh, as far as the weapon loadout, guess what? It's the same thing. <laughs> the Beta is the same thing as the Alpha. Um, Fixed size ones. If you look on the systems and everything, it's the exact same thing. It came, so comes with the same components. Um, so let's move over to the Delta comparatively. Um, the Delta's whole hit points are the same. The mass of the Delta is a little bit uh, more than the Alpha, less than the Beta. Uh, the speed, the SCM speed is 184, so it's less than the Beta. Uh, but the afterburner, uh, the maximum speed is the highest out of all three. Uh, the pitch, gosh darn it, I don't need to keep clicking that, sorry. The pitch roll and yaw, um, the, looks like the alpha and the delta, oh sorry, the delta, are the same for uh, pitch and yaw. And, but the delta has a better roll rate than both of them. 
as far as components go on the Delta, you could, I'm sorry, but yeah, there we go. There's the Delta. You can see we have our rockets and then we have our size twos on the wings and our size two on the nose. The components it comes with are military grade C's and D's and then civilian grade coolers and the, the quantum drive. Um, notice our DPS is 2109 because everything's a size two. Um, so what I would do is I would put on repeaters on everything, lowering our uh, alpha, but keeping our DPS relatively the same. Uh, the shields, I would do the exact same thing I did on the other set, FR-66 and the Palisade. Power plants, the JS-300 military, the coolers, the ultra flows, and the quantum drive would be the Atlas. That gives us plenty of power, plenty of cooling. It's still pretty high. It's not stealthy, right? But this is a uh, pretty beastly of a ship um, to do some light uh, fighter stuff on. Uh, as far as the beta goes, um, here is actually the loadout of the beta. Everything, the beta is civilian grade D, industrial grade D. Um, all in all, not great stock. Now, let's go from, let's say, uh, to the Gamma. Gamma, racing ship, same hull hit points. Uh, the mass is a little bit less than everything else at 31,000 kilograms. The SCM speed is way higher at 241, and the afterburner speed is actually way higher at 1341. So again, one of the fastest ship in the game, uh, Pitch, and y'all are 54 degrees a second, which is about the same as the rest with the roll at 245 degrees a second was significantly higher than the Alpha and Beta and then just a little bit higher than the Delta. Uh, the hydrogen capacity is not, uh, the Delta actually has a good hydrogen, just like the Beta, but not as much quantum fuel. The Gamma is the same as the Alpha. Um, Let's bring up the Gamma. You know, it has those two size ones and everything is competition grade. Uh, coolers are grade D, which are fine. You don't need to change those. The power plant is the Lumicore. Um, it's real close to being maxed out. It's a competition grade A, so I would probably keep it because it's the best competition one you could get. Um, but I, I would change over to uh, repeaters. Um, I don't know if that's actually going to change our... It's not really changing our power load. But uh, and then I would change our quantum drive. Uh, if I was going to go full competition, I would put a Foxfire on there. Our, our uh, coolers, I would throw competition zero rushes on there. And for our shields, I would put competition Yakti on there. I know it doesn't matter, but those used to be the best for competition shields. Uh, our power consumption is about the same. Our cooling is about the same. Uh, we're a little bit stealthier, uh, but this is this is my competition loadout for the gamma now let's grab the last ship we looked at which was the omega so compared to the gamma the omega has exactly the same stats but the omega felt like it was faster maybe it had better acceleration and that's what the difference was but other than that is the exact same stats as the mustang gamma so you're not really gaining anything with with pitch roll yaw speed afterburn speed all that stuff um, you uh, the Mustang Omega has the exact same loadout as the Gamma, I believe. The Quick Cools, the Rush, the Luma Course, the Falcos, the M3As uh, for weapons. So, um, I just think it looks cooler, but it's pretty much the same thing as the Gamma. So, with that, that is the loadout of the uh, Mustang series. Um, let me go back to the alpha and yeah, I don't show any paints on here, but there is the Vindicator livery. Um, so that, that's kind of a separate thing. And I don't think anybody can get that anymore. I think you just have to be gifted it or something. Like that. So with that, that is the loadout section. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So here we are at the brochure for the Consolidated Outland Mustang um, crafted and tuned to perfection. So I, I'm not sure how far out of date this is. I'm going to read this along with you. I don't think I've ever seen this brochure. Um, you can see here on the screen, we have a bunch of the Mustangs, um, the Alpha, the Beta, the Gamma, the Delta, the Omega. Redefine what it means to travel the stars. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to a ship so advanced that it will set the benchmark for innovation and excellence. With a unique 
metamaterial body structure and precisely calculated weight distribution, the all-new Mustang offers responsiveness and agility while providing a ride beyond all my expectations. Whether you are running errands, tearing up the racetrack, or holding the line, we at Consolidated Outland are determined to lead the way in ship manufacturing. With so many options designed to best fit your lifestyle, wherever life sends you, there's a Mustang to get you there. Welcome along for the ride. Silas Kerner, CEO and founder of Consolidated Outland. Your everyday ship, but so much more. I think it's a really cool starter ship. Uh, interesting that this guy has like a cranial on and a helmet of what the same thing I wore in the Navy. <laughs> so that's interesting. Wonder where they got that or if they drew that in or what. Uh, there's some guy working on his Mustang in evolution and aerospace engineering using patented ultralight material alloys developed by researchers at Consolidated Outland. The Mustang is able to push power ratios to the very limit. The result is a sleek, stylish spacecraft that weighs less than any other ship in its class and delivers exhilarating performance. And now with the optional cargo carrier, you can enjoy all the Mustang's advances without sacrificing carrying capacity. Not only will the Mustang take you where you want to go, the cargo carrier will allow you to take along a whole lot more. Specifically, six SCU of cargo. Um, interesting. Here's the Mustang Alpha and some of the Mustang Alpha specs. Um, what it doesn't show here is the landing gear. The, uh, maybe this this part of the wing, it looks like it's down more and that was designed to be the landing gear, but it's it's not that way. It actually has landing gear. Um, yeah, so a lot of this stuff, you know, the cargo capacity and freight units, is, is, this is an old brochure you can tell because now they use standard cargo units. So take, don't take this with a grain of salt. Most of this stuff is out of date, um, especially components and things like that. Explore the farthest reaches with the Beta. One of my favorites here, the Beta. A pilot ship, the Mustang was built from the ground up with the understanding that achieving true synergy between human and machine, between thought and action was what would separate Consolidated Outland's inaugural effort from every ship that had come before, combining meticulous engineering with uniquely advanced ergonomic design, the Mustang cockpit connects the pilot seamlessly to the journey through precision feedback while remaining comfortable and responsive even at top speeds, effortlessly integrating throttle navigation and communications and weapon control. The digital instrument cluster will leave you wondering how you ever flew with anything else. I do like the instrument cluster. It is not the design in the picture. It is it is much more of a uh, touchscreen type of thing, and, and I like that. Uh, go beyond expectations with the Mustang Beta. It, with its unprecedented range and thrilling pilot experience, is made for long-duration flights. While the Beta's Tarsus Sleeper Jump Engine will take you to the galaxy's furthest systems, the ship's com 4 t living quarters... <laughs> com 4 t Comfort... Uh, will make it seem like you've never left home. Moving away from the human cargo style quarters that most manufacturers seem to think is good enough, the beta provides that efficient habitat can also be comfortable. You won't just be passing time with your comfort tea bed, kitchen, and hygiene center. You'll be enjoying it. Now, this is not what it looks like back there. Um, and that's okay, but this looks way bigger than what it actually is. So, but they, they you know, maybe they didn't have a bathroom in the old one. And they have one in there. Uh, there's the Mustang beta and some of the beta stats and stuff like that. Again, out of date. And the, even the color scheme is out of date. Race on the cutting edge, the Gamma. Ahead of the pack, Consolidated Atlantis design and engineering teams have gone to extraordinary lengths to ensure that the Mustang moves as good as it looks. As a result, the Gamma's acceleration and instantaneous, powerful, and is instantaneous, powerful, and smooth. Unhindered by the restraints of traditional thinking, we were able to reimagine the possibilities concerning thruster balance and efficiency. Underneath the graceful lines of the gamma is an innovative package featuring an Icebox P cooling system, not anymore, for optimal heat control and three powerful consolidated outland magma jet engines for magma thrust. Magma thrust, maximum thrust. If getting there is half the fun, then the other half get, is getting there first in a Mustang Gamma. And then here's some gamma stats again out of date, but uh cool looking ship protect what you love mustang delta see how it's green and then in the one i flew was way more white maybe the shaders off because i remember flying a mustang delta and it was very od green 
Mass production armor in a universe as vast and wonderful as ours, anything can happen. It pays to be ready for anything. We wanted to ensure two things with the design of the Delta, that any conflict would be over as soon as possible, and more importantly, that the Delta would be the ship left flying. By reinforcing the Mustang's already strong hull construction with mass reduction armor, you are not only able to withstand engagements for longer, but you're also able to avoid direct assaults altogether, thanks to the ship's reduced cross-section signature. Which, right now, is not really helping in missiles, <laughs> with missiles. Uh, the bags are repeater. Aim. To bring conflicts to a swift conclusion, the Delta comes equipped with a bite as fierce as its spark, armed with Klaus and Burner's tried and true CF-117 Bagger laser repeater and a twin-mounted bearing M3A laser cannon turret. The Delta lets you target combatants with all the confidence that comes with having a ship as well-armed and as well-designed. Who said a fight has to be fair? The bearing R18 pods fire for full comprehensive protection, consolidated outland up to the ante even further by making twin bearing R18 rocket pods standard on every Mustang Delta constructed, which is not the rocket pod that's on there. A trusted aim of weapons, bearings proven and tested missile systems are an natural fit for the Delta's sleek, ruggedness, and dogged resilience. Whatever you face, the Delta is ready to meet the challenge head on. And here are some Delta stats and a picture, uh, of course, out of date again. And then discover something truly special, the Omega you guys enjoyed uh, being able to see that accelerated mass design if the soul of every mustang is performance what it then what better partner to bring that vision to life than accelerated mass design or advanced micro devices known for their custom tuning amd has time and again proven themselves able to bring out the best in any craft they get their hands on you can imagine how eager we were to hand over the mustang to see them make the best even better the result consolidated outland special edition mustang omega Tuned to perform in ways never expected, the Omega has the Mustang's nimble reflexes at every turn, but with a little something extra. Whether you're accelerating off the line or zooming along winding tracks, the Omega's additional fuel intake allows for extra boost when you need it most. Wrap it all up in a custom paint job by AMD's own resident artist, Sector 8, and you have a ship that everyone wants, but that only a few lucky people will own. That's true. There's some, some stats that are out of date for the Mustang Omega. Uh, challenge expectations. Here's some different pictures of the Mustang. Uh, and then there's uh, here's a chart here of uh, comparing all of them. And then uh, Consolidated Outland where risk meets reward. So there you go, guys. That is the brochure for the Consolidated Outland Mustang series. Stay tuned now for the Star Citizen commercials, and then we'll wrap up the video. Thanks for hanging with us. drawn towards the familiar. It is safe, reliable, but it can shackle us to the ordinary when in our souls we long to strike out to become something new. We started with a simple mantra. Dare to dream. Dare to challenge the expectations of what's come before. To embrace the unique, to put everything on the line. Only when we risk everything can we discover something truly special and redefine what it means to travel the stars. To explore the farthest reaches. To race on the cutting edge. To protect what you love. Say goodbye to the familiar. And welcome the brand new Mustang, where risk meets reward. all started with a dream, a need to challenge the conventions of our time, to look at the well-worn path ahead and decide to take another route. 
What is life if not the culmination of all decisions we've made? And the roads we've traveled? We decide to seek out the unknown. Or take a stand against the unjust in the universe. We are all chasing who we are, who we want to be. Which begs the question, why choose it all? Introducing the all-new Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma. 2948 Mustang. Dream redefined for the modern era. All right, everybody. So we are coming in for a landing here at Port Olisar. Um, it is time to end the video. I, I do want to know what you guys think of the Mustang series. Please, uh, you know, feel free to comment below. John and I love to talk to you guys about these ships and about, uh, you know, all these different things here. I'm going to do an auto landing. Let me. There we go. Don't tell Java. Okay, so um, yeah, the this the Mustang Beta that I have here is actually my overall recommendation if you're going to get a Mustang ship. Now, um, this guy's going to interrupt me here in a second, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, if you are looking at just getting into the game and you want a pledge package, I don't I don't remember if the Beta comes with one. It might at certain times out of the year, but uh, the Alpha does come with one. And for a cheap 10 buck upgrade, I would go with the beta if you just want to do that. But uh, it is my favorite amongst all the Mustang series of ships, just because I really like the little bedroom it has in the back. It's like a little studio apartment. Um, but I'm interested to hear what you think about the Mustang series. Um, you know, are you a new player to the game or do you are you looking for help with anything? Um, do you want uh, like a noob tutorial on how to play in a, an Alpha 314 or 15? You know, let us know what you guys want and we will definitely help make content on that stuff. Um, we're here for you guys. We're here for the community. And if you have any requests for videos that we can actually do, let us know. Um, Alpha 315 is going to have a wipe. So with ship reviews, we'll, we'll all do what ships I actually own and what I can grind for. But it might take a while before I can get back on a full cycle of, uh, you know, back into the grind of a bunch of ships that I don't actually have. So uh, we'll take that with a grain of salt. Uh, we do stream every Thursday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Fisting Java Save the Universe. Java streams Java with Java, which is a mining show that you can join and mine with with Java Sparky at uh, every Sunday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. Other than that, we have a Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Um, I think it's a $3, $5, or a $10 tier, and you do get exclusive content behind the scenes, first looks, um, requests for videos, and other fun stuff that I only do for my Patreons, uh, including an exclusive Discord. So if you're interested in that, hop on over to our website, Fisting Java, Save the Universe. I'm, I'm sorry, our website is fistingjava.org. Uh, our show is called Fisting Java Save the Universe. And I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you haven't already and I've earned your like and subscribe, please like and subscribe the video below. And we'll see you in the next one. And remember, guys, if the fist don't get you, the lightning will will. Good night, Stanton.